Good afternoon, everybody. Just arrived at the hospital here at Fall River and uh, going to get my legs taken care of. And then after that, gonna go get some food at the cafeteria and we'll let you know how the food is. So we'll see you in a few. Good morning, every well, afternoon, everybody. This is Ronald Lubell Hospital. I had to go there for uh, my legs today, but in the cafeteria, um, got the St. George cheese, the George cheese, nice vegeta uh, vegetarian pizza, as well as a pepperoni pizza, pineapple, and a diet Mountain Dew. And uh, just got a, uh, Puffy and I just got our food. He'll be showing you his in a minute, but um, so far this vegetarian pizza is outstanding. Really good flavor. I love these type of peppers. The service here, really good. A1. Uh, we got our food so quick. It was, it was as if the flash was doing it. That quick. Nice. Mm. Nice pepperoni. Really good. I gotta say, you know, for hospital food, this is outstanding. The hospitals, the cafeterias have really good food. And I've known people that have gone, and as, as well as myself sometimes, uh, gone to one of the hospitals just to go to the cafeteria and use uh, have some food there because they got good food and very reasonable price. See, nice pineapple, nice Portuguese bread. They call it pup sec, as well as the the queso, the cheese. Mm, St. George's cheese, which is one of my favorite cheeses. Excellent, nice, delicious. This is delicious. It really was really nicely made. The pepperoni wasn't greasy at all. Some places you get a pizza, you basically you do an oil change with their pepperoni. But here, yeah, nicely done. I got myself, look at that, a C4. These energy drinks aren't too bad. They're actually made for like performance and stuff. I know a lot of athletes that drink them. I don't drink energy drinks that often, but I got a flank steak, but mashed potatoes, gravy, and green beans. And I mean, these green beans, they're seasoned. A nice case of a black pepper and garlic. And I mean, Roman's right, you know, some hospitals have really good food. I won't say all. Uh, the one where is known for having good food. Mm. Those green beans are really good. And I also just love my uh my vegetables. Kinda of say. Ooh. That's a good brown gravy. Mm -hmm. 
And these potatoes, you can tell just from the taste, they're not box potatoes, canned potatoes or anything. These are homemade potatoes. You can always tell the difference. Just from the density, the taste. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's homemade. Let's try a piece of this steak. Flank steak, yeah. Check out that steak, too. That was good flavor. You can taste a little bit of pepper on this. And they actually um, will add, well, they'll ask you if you want some of the natural steak juice. So this way it keeps it nice and moist and it doesn't dry up on you. And of course I said yes and I thanked them. But, yeah, this is a really good flavor. Now, for all of you who watch this religiously, which we thank you, um, I did do cafeteria food one other time before, last season and season two. I did it while I was up in Boston at the Science Museum. I tried one of the places inside their cafeteria. So Ronan was not with me for that episode. That was when I did, I believe, oh, it, yep, it was the chalkboard grill. Now, most times I'll ask for a receipt, but I did forget to ask this time. But everything came to say... $24 even. Say, so, uh, you know, just $24 even, which isn't bad, especially with everything we got. I mean, just look at the amount of food that's on this plate. Look at all the food running got. <laughs> when Ron and I first got here, we totally walked by the trays here. Didn't even see them. But the person that cashed us out, she was nice enough to get us a trip. You just saw him. I just finished eating, just like Roman did. Finished everything that was on my plate. We just got out of the hospital. Uh, couldn't tell you. Service at the hospital was outstanding. I mean, uh, they took care of my legs. They uh, washed the, the wounds and all this other stuff. And uh, after that, the food, it was really good. Cafeteria is nice, a good size. The food is really good, A1 quality food. And it's run by itself. So, because I had asked the cafeteria lady, uh, who's the one that runs this? Because Tuffy wanted to know. I was just curious. And so... Because in some hospitals, the cafeteria is run by outside sources. Not all, but some. But in this case, it's not run by outside sources. It's run by inside sources. So, the food was really good. Uh, based on the fact that service was outstanding, the food was outstanding, and nice place to sit and be comfortable, uh, I give it five stars. Um. I thought the peaches were really good. The cheese sandwich was really good. I enjoyed the pineapple fruit, uh, fresh pineapple. So, and what was titled as a Frank steak, although it tasted more like a beef roast, um, it was good. I think it cost me around six dollars and fifty cents. It came with that and two sides. So, if you saw, I had green beans with mashed potatoes and gravy, and they asked me if I would like, you know, to have any of the uh, natural juices from the the beef itself poured over the meat. Stay nice and moist, which I appreciate that. 
Now, even though and I did like the taste of the food, I thought it had, you know, especially the green beans, it had a nice uh, peppery garlic flavor. Mashed potatoes, you could tell, were real mashed potatoes, not boxed or anything. Like I said, inside the rest, inside the cafeteria where I was eating it. And, uh, you know, the, the flank steak or beef roast, it had, you know, good flavor. It also had like a peppery taste. Like a black pepper, or, you know, hospital cafeteria food. You know, not bad. It was all right. How do you rate it? Well, me personally, I mean, just because, I mean, the service was outstanding. I mean, like I said, the people who served us the food, awesome. The cashier was awesome. She even got his, uh, some trays, I think I mentioned it in the beginning, that Ronan and I had totally walked past and didn't even notice. But, I mean, they do kind of have it over in a blind spot, unless you are somebody that eats there a lot, which some people do. Uh, you would totally be blindsided on where to even look for those trays. But, I mean, that's just minor details anyways. But to be honest, to be fair, well, though, I, I would say it's at least, you know, a four for hospital cafeteria food, which is still a good rating. I would rate it at least a four. I know Ronan couldn't find no rating online for it, uh, except for a rating on the overall experience of the hospital, and it had a very bad rating, to be honest with you. The hospital itself had a... Uh, 2.6, I think it was, rated on Google. Which, mind you, there's a lot of people within the nearby towns in Florida itself that doesn't really care much for this hospital. Or, or <laughs> hospitals in general. Yeah, so. To be fair with the, the, the thing at, about the cafeteria, um, it was the, the, the trays, They we just were, were looking for them. No. We had just came from I, said, uh, oh, I had came from just um, getting my legs wrapped, and we were look, we were hungry. We were looking for what they had for food. Um, a quick bite. Yeah, and it was like one of these things that we weren't looking for a tray, which we easily could have seen if we were actually taking our time. Uh, so it's not like it was hidden from the from view. It's just that. We were more uh, uh, concentrating on our bellies than... Which was brown, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. So all I had this lot of was a uh, second cup of coffee. Yeah. So, to be fair, uh, with the cafeteria, uh, the food is really good there. I would say, you know, if you're in the neighborhood and you want something cheap and... You can't, uh, like, afford, like, a McDonald's or something like that, which can be very pricey. More so Dunkin' Donuts being more pricey. Uh, but I would say go there. You can get a good meal. It tastes as good. Uh, go there. But, again, I mean, there are people that also go to hospitals, like where Ronnie went to today for his doctor's appointment simply just for the food people go there all the time for breakfast lunch and, and dinner or supper whatever you want to call it there's today. nothing wrong with that you know i mean it is reasonable pricing for and food and good food and i mean you can feed yourself and your family if you have one at a reasonable price it's like i said the, i thought the pizzas were good uh I like the, the, the St. George sandwich. Is it the best pizza I ever had? No. But is it the, it, was it edible? Was it good? Did it have a nice flavor to it? Yeah. I mean, in different places, I mean, me, I like more of a thinner crust, but it was, it, it was, it was good. It had a nice crust. It was something that you could chew on and enjoy. So that's why I said five stars. I I think you know, like I said, I a, personally a four stars is a, a four is a little bit low. Uh four is like yeah okay, you don't suck, but you're not that good either. 
but you just beat the just suck level. Uh, Four cylinder, Brandon. Yeah, if you, you, you the restaurant sucks. <laughs> And you're trying to be kind. Uh, but yeah. Well, trying to be kind is where if it sucks, so you give it at least a three point five or something. He's <laughs> <laughs> with all that said, we just want to thank everybody for always tuning in and watching all the episodes. Thank you for all your love and your support. Thank you to everybody who has hit the subscribe button. If you haven't hit it, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be the first to be notified when a video like this one comes out. Both the subscribe button and the notification bell are free, and it really helps out the channel. Also, too, don't forget, we are on Facebook and Instagram, and also uh, Twitter. If you like, head on over there, give us a like and follow on any one of the three you might be on. If you're on all three, please, hey, give us a like and follow on all three, then. Uh, again, the like and follow button are also free on the pages, and it definitely helps out the pages. If we've already done it, again, thank you so much. Uh, don't forget to head on over to the Food Lover Review Show merchandise site. Check it out. Uh, as you already know, you've seen, you know, from previous episodes, uh, the hat that Ronan wears with that new logo of ours, which will pop up right now. Uh, and then it all, we also have this one up on the site, too, which is the original logo design that we had for our Food Lovers when we first started. Uh, we have, again, a little bit of everything, not just hats, you know, but we have, like, hats and hoodies, um, coffee mugs, travel mugs, uh, stickers, you know, T-shirts. It, it, it's all up there. So go on over there. Check it out. Get yourself or maybe a loved one or a friend, you know, something really cool today. Again, thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts for all of your love and your support. We love you all, and we'll see you on the next review.